Uh, symptoms, symptoms can vary person to person, but lots of times with the heart, if there is a true structural problem, uh, patients will feel short of breath, sometimes chest discomfort, uh, or a sense that the heart is racing or irregular, sometimes unusual swelling. Uh, those would be the, the big ones. Difficulty sleeping and breathing, that, that type thing. Most of the time we diagnose it, uh, the condition from a simple history, talking in the office, uh, examining the patient, uh, and then we, we rely heavily on ultrasound imaging to look at the structures. The most common procedure we perform is, is referred to as TAVR, which it stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It is a very, very common condition that occurs at, usually as people get older uh, and that the valve can stop working, it can become narrowed and, and require replacement. Uh, but instead of surgery now, for virtually most patients, it can be replaced without open heart surgery. I'd have to say that's our most common. Um, but we also have the ability to fix the mitral valve. That has become increasingly uh, common. We have the ability to put a little vascular plug in the top part of the heart to prevent stroke. Uh, that is very, very common. Um, and we have a few other less common but very effective techniques for closing holes in the heart or closing holes or leaks around previously placed valves. So most of these procedures, and the really the nice thing about some of the structural heart procedures are that instead now of open heart surgery, which is obviously a very big procedure, many of these procedures are, are done on an outpatient basis or in a, as a very limited inpatient basis without surgery. Um, most do uh, require anesthesia, but it's very light and patients recover quite quickly and are able to get back to normal activity in just a fraction of, a time, of the time that it would take with surgery.